Jazzcast Pros. Welcome back to Beauty Boss Millionaire. I'm your host, Felicia Fercasi, and the objective of today's episode is really preparing you if you wanted to sell your business. Welcome back to the Beauty Boss Millionaire podcast with daily on-the-go episodes packed with testimonies and business tips to help you create financial freedom through entrepreneurship. Hosted by the owner of Fercasi Lashes and the Blow Dry Lounge, the Beauty Boss Millionaire herself, Felicia Fercasi. Talk about how business credit has helped us along the way. And what's next? You know, what do you do after you've built up the business? You've made it, you know, you're sustaining itself. You're able to have the daily functions of the business working in your favor. But now we want to talk a little bit about selling. Earlier in season eight, I also talked about how I would be preparing you if you wanted to sell your business. The reason why I talk about this is because a lot of entrepreneurs, after they get it going and they're they're holding on to it, Actually, three things can happen. The first thing is you either keep it consistent, try to see it to the end, and somewhere along the line eventually starts to die off. It's a a dying trend. That's just, unfortunately, every business has a life. You know, look at, we used to all have Polaroids. Now we don't even have film in our cameras. So every business, unfortunately, has some type of point where it maybe will die off unless you can reinvent the business. The second thing that can happen is that you have the business, you try to multiply it and grow it in bigger ways and you have multiple locations or you you change it over to e-commerce or whatever it is that you do where you make it online now and the last thing that you can do with your business is you can actually sell your business i know a lady who literally builds up businesses for a living and then what she does is she gets it all going she'll get the whole package right She'll get the revenue stream. She's tracking everything. She has actual real numbers for you to look at to see how your business is doing and how healthy it is so that other people can see it. The It's called EBITDA. It's basically you know the, the debt to income ratio. You can see all these different numbers on these reports. And then what she'll do is she will actually sell the business. Now, when you sell the business, it's not as easy as it sounds. You have to make sure it's really ready for being sold. And a lot of times people, when they go to sell a business, they don't really know a lot about it. Basically, you're just selling a product for someone that may want to take it over and they can then invest their energies into it. Maybe you're saying, you know, what, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to do something else. Maybe the passion just dies or whatever it is. Some people, there's not that they lost any type of passion. They just want to make the big amount at the end. So if this is you, and you want to sell your business, business credit probably got you along the way and just building it up or whatever it is. But now you want to focus on selling this business. The way that you do that is you look and do analysis of your business. You can have someone from an outside team do an audit. They can do an audit of your company and see how everything's going. You have to be really good with your numbers with your accountant. You have to make sure that it's making sense financially for someone to even want to buy your business. And lastly, you want to make sure your numbers are really strong so that that business can also obtain working capital if they need to gain it or credit if they need to have it. And just get that business ready for the next person so it can be an easy transition for them. On the last few episodes, I was speaking on the SBA, the Small Business Administration. But just remember, there's also SBA loans that someone else can take out to buy your business, which means you would have to make sure your business qualifies to be a SBA approved business to buy. One of the things that you're going to need when you get ready to sell your business and get it SBA approved is three years of business tax returns and financials. You know, the profit and loss statement, the balance sheet. You have to let that person crunch those numbers and see if there's a potential there for the right buyer to get financing based on this and other information. Other factors that are very important and need to be considered like later is the buyer's credit, work experience, down payment, collateral. And getting prepared for financing and getting your business approved for SBA approved will help you eliminate the buyer from going to get financing that may take way too long. And, you know, maybe they're just not really ready. And you know how long these loans approvals take and plain, they just might be too busy for your deal. Remember, it takes time to get these things sold and time can really kill the deal if you want your deal to be moving and you want to make sure you're staying in control of the sale, which means that you're already ready. So it's really good to get your business SBA approved if someone wants to buy it because you never know. Uh, I've seen so many small businesses that have been outbought or they bought, they're being they're being bought out by bigger companies because they see them as either a competition or they see them as um, a, a different way to gain customers. There's so many things that people that are truly in the business arena, will they look at your business and see it and say, could I add this to my portfolio? 
So make sure you are taking the, the right steps to get your business approved for sale, getting it ready for sale. Because some people, they fall in love with their business and they're just so obsessed with it, which is fine. That's the love of your life. And then there's some people that say, okay, I can do something else. I, I rather birth this baby out, get it ready and sell it off to someone else that will take it further. And there's plenty of people that have done that successful brands that you probably didn't even think are doing just that they buy it up build it up just to sell it so it's are you just are you attached to your business are you committed you know where are you at in that stage find out that first and at that point if you say you know what i want to sell my business or you know things have taken a different direction in my life where i need to focus my attention elsewhere you can always sell your business but just make sure it's ready for sale i hope all of this has helped and thanks for tuning in to beauty boss millionaire that's it for today Tune in tomorrow for the Beauty Boss Millionaire podcast. And don't forget to follow the Beauty Boss Millionaire, Felicia Fricasi, on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Beauty Boss Millionaire.